In 2024, the world's population is expected to reach 8 billion, causing a serious strain on crucial resources. And that's why IBM's 2019 5 and 5 focuses on how research, innovation, and technology development today can help transform the food supply chain of tomorrow. Chef Melissa King and VP and Lab Director at IBM Research, Jeffrey Welser, are here to discuss. Thanks to both of you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. So Jeff, starting with you, can you describe a little bit more in detail IBM's five and five? Sure, every year IBM Research tries to come up with five technologies that we think have the potential to really impact the world in the coming five years, so five in five. We've been doing this since about 2006. Uh, this year we did something a little different. We're trying to see how we can focus artificial intelligence, IoT, cloud, blockchain, on something that's important, I think, to all of us, which is, is food. Right, right. So, um, Melissa, as a chef, how do you view the five and five? You know, in addition to being a chef, um, I have a science background. And, you know, cooking is a science. It really goes hand in hand. And I find the research that IBM is doing is quite um, exciting. Uh, you know, being able to find ways to feed the world in a safer and sustainable way. Jeff, talk us through a little bit more specifics on how this cutting edge technology can really make a difference in the global economy. Yeah, we're trying to really start from seed all the way to shelf with this. So starting at the farmer's field, finding ways we can get IoT sensor data and satellite imagery to really help a farmer maximize the yield they get from each acre of their, of their farm. Um, then when that food gets shipped off from the farm, uh, it's a very complex food supply chain we have these days. Unfortunately, a lot of waste does get introduced along the way. Up to 40% of the food can actually get wasted. We think using blockchain, you can actually actually trace that more carefully, minimizing that waste and uh, potentially making the food safer as well. And of course, once the, the food reaches the shelf of the restaurant, that's actually when you really care about safety. Uh, there's a lot of testing already going on always, of course, to, to look for bad bacteria. But we think there's an opportunity to actually test for the whole microbiome, the good and the healthy bacteria as well. And that could actually make the food, we think, better for you as well as uh, minimize the chances of foodborne illness outbreaks. Uh, and that extends into the home as well. We, we have some technology that we think you could hook onto your cell phone to literally be able to detect bacteria in your own kitchen. Um, and then lastly, after we finish eating, there's always the packaging that came with it. A lot of plastic, of course, goes into food packaging in general. I think we all try very hard to recycle that plastic, but the reality is plastic can only be recycled a few times uh, before you have to dispose of it. Um, we have some new technology, though, that we believe can actually take that plastic right back down to its, its chemical components, so you really could recycle it over and over and over again. Great. And Melissa, of course, you're, you know, you're a professional chef. How would this affect the home chef, would you say? You know, I think this will affect the home chef um, even as far as their lifestyle. Um, you know, from recycling, you, you really won't have to worry about separating your plastics anymore. You can just throw the colors and the clears all together in one spot. Um, and also, you know, the AI sensors, uh, I believe they might be putting them onto cutting boards, which could be uh, able to detect the pathogens um, within your own home. So it is providing a much safer uh, meal that you can put on the table. Incredible information. If we want to learn more about this, find out uh, more information, more resources, where can we go? If you go to research.ibm.com, our website, you can click on 5 and 5. You can read about all the technologies we talked about here and also see some really cool videos with Melissa actually using them in action. Great. Thanks so much to both of you for joining me. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.